I'm on my Windows PC desktop and I got this uh, old DVD uh, with a movie Grinch on it. So I just put it in the uh, DVD CD-ROM slot and I'm going to close it. So right now the DVD is reading and here I'm going to use VLC. VLC, uh, my suggestion is simply download it from internet, but always use the main site to download it. Don't use third-party sites because you may download software with viruses. VLC and then going to click on Media, Open Disk, and as you can tell, this is my CD-ROM, uh, whatever, reader. It's just the unit, unit in my desktop. So it's already uh, selected by default. I'm going just to click on it, uh, play, and uh, let's see what happens. Perhaps you can hear it. So it's reading it. It takes a few moments. So let's just give it some more time. It's slow, it's all technology, of course, and you can tell it's. Very hard. You can tell it's uh, reading it from the DD, it's uh, the one with uh, uh, DVD, whatever, CD ROM. You can also read music like this, uh, like regular old CD, uh, CDs with music. Um, so, again, this works only for DVDs, it will not work on Blu-ray. Blu-ray, when the Blu-ray technology uh, started, uh, the computers did not use DVD ROMs uh, that would read Blu-ray. It never follow, did follow the Blu-ray technology on desktops uh, windows. So only DVD, older ones obviously. And uh, let's just play back if you want. Uh, we can also use this menu. I believe, but it's going to take a few moments, as it seems. In theory, it should be interactive. Let's try to zoom out. Oh, I was hoping it gets interactive. Let's see what's happening. Can I use your finger for a second? Okay, let's see if I can select uh, English. Yes, it does work. So you can basically just click on it and uh, you can also skip. And uh, I'm going to guess, uh, but what, it, like I said, the DVD is not fast. It's not like your standalone DVD or blue blue right unit blue blue light what was it again something like that okay so, so this should be uh, this should be what you need to do thanks for watching